traditional ulnar shortening osteotomy. This patient has a luno triquetral ligament tear in the wrist, so we're going to do the traditional ulnar shortening osteotomy. Because that ligament is torn, the bones move against each other by shortening the ulna. Other ligaments are tightened to provide stability to the wrist. I usually use a minimally invasive distal metaphyseal ulnar shortening osteotomy, which heals quicker and is less painful and less scarring. But for this indication, meaning lunar triquetral ligament tears, we need to do the traditional full open ulnar shortening osteotomy. We're placing a specially designed plate on the ulnar bone, screwing it into position. The screws hold the plate to the bone. Osteotomy means to cut a bone. We're going to cut the bone in two places and take out a few millimeters and then approximate the bony edges together to shorten it. Now this screw is being placed into a slotted hole so it can be loosened and retightened after the bone is shortened. Now we have a saw guide and we're making the first saw cut. This goes through the bone. This is a second saw guide. It looks just like the first, but it's a few millimeters over. So we can take out a small wafer of bone. We determined before surgery how much we need to remove and remove that amount. This is a stat wire being placed to give us a handle to hold on to, so to speak. So we can compress the two bony ends together. You can see us doing that now. The screw in the slotted hole has been loosened. And now it is retightened to hold the bone in an opposed position. See the bone is opposed so well we can't even get a small scalpel blade in between the bony fragments. Now we place an angle screw across the site where we cut the bone to hold the two bones together and provide very firm fixation and then compress it. Place extra screws to provide firm fixation. This entails six weeks in a cast and it takes a while for this bone to heal many times. You can see the plate on the bone. The bone is very well opposed. It's been shortened. Now we place synthetic bone graft to speed up healing. All done.